the Dwarf Thane with Army Battle Standard. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Today we're going to have another Games Workshop review. This time around it's a single figure of the old Dwarf Thane holding the battle standard. Now this is just another single model, single model review, so there's not going to be too much to this video. But this is another one of these models that now that they've released the new General's Handbook for 2018, I'm going to try to build all my dwarf figures. And this is one of those guys that's been around a long time in my basement that I haven't even touched yet. So I'm going to open it up and you're going to get the benefit of seeing what's in the box. So without further ado, let's go down to our table and check this guy out. And now we're going to look at our Dwarf Thane with Army Battle Standard. This is an old model that used to be a white metal one and is now Citadel fine cast. However, he's not being currently sold at this point. So... Let's just take a look at how he is. There we go. Cutting and grunting off screen. And the captions read. Okay, so this is a two-piece model. And as I just showed you, it comes with a nice little square base with an angled slot. And of course, he would just pop in right there like that. And he's got that come get some type of look. Come at me, bro. Okay, let's just take this off for a minute. And you can see the Citadel, whoops, is quite transparent through here. You can see light through it. So just be careful. So you'll have to cut carefully cut this stringer off here. But you can see the nice detail he's got. And I forgot to mention this, but if you need to glue them down, use crazy glue. Got a neat little helmet on the top of his head. This nice fur coat. And of course the, the chain mail on his arm. And now there's some really great detail on that banner. Because this is the banner of the dwarf holds. So, I'm going to paint my guy in the colors of Karak Eight Peaks to match the rest of my army over there. And it should be quite a cool model. So, that's our little quick review of the single model. And there's not much to them that I can show you. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at our Dwarf Battle Standard Bearer. And if you like these videos, please... Uh, make a contribution to our channel by going to our Yahoo, uh, Yahoo <laughs> YouTube homepage. Look for the PayPal icon, click there, and it'll help you do the rest. And if you want to see what we have, since I am a Games Workshop retailer, come check out our great selection of Games Workshop items by clicking this link down below in the description. It's blue. So if it's blue, you know, you click on it and it'll take you right to our website. And then you can see what I have for Age of Sigmar. And if you like watching our videos, please check out these other three right here, right here. And oh, did you get this one? Oh, you want to see that one? It's a good one. And don't forget to like and subscribe over here and click that notification bell. So every time I make a video, you too can see what's in the box. And until next time, happy model building.